Hello, Dr. Pelto here. Uh, welcome to the newsletter for October 2021 with Central Mass Podiatry. Today we're going to talk about the diagnosis of the month. It's called Halix Limitus. If you're not sure what that is, we'll talk a little bit about that. And then in combination, we're going to have a webinar coming up in the next month in November. You can start registering for it. It's called All About Big Toe Pain. It has a little bit to do with Halix Luminous, actually a lot to do. Uh, there's a little true or false question. Uh, we, we were brainstorming with Dr. Savvy. We came up with some questions. And I want to talk a little bit about this new way of scanning for orthotics using a 3D scanner. So let's get right into it. Uh, the diagnosis of the month. Check this out. This is called Halix Limitus. Have you ever heard of this before? Basically what it is, instead of a bunion that's on the side, it's a bunion that's on the top of the big toe joint. Uh, and it's it's actually a little bit of arthritis, a little bit of everything. So let's talk about what happens. It starts with normal joint motion. And this is where the, the first metatarsal, which is right here, it goes down and the joint goes up. And then that can develop into something called functional hallux limitus which means when you function or when you're walking, it jams in this joint. And then over time that can develop into bone spurs on the top. That's called structural hallux limitus. There's a lot of treatments for this. I'm not gonna go into detail, uh, but you might try icing, anti-inflammatories, new shoes to start, but then you may need orthotics, cortisone injections, and then even surgery in the future. And we're gonna be talking about all that at this next webinar. It's called All About Stiff Big Toes. So if you wanna register, just uh, click uh, underneath this video. You're gonna learn more information to register for that. Okay, we can accept a certain number. So register now so you can get your spot. Uh, next thing I wanna talk about the true or false question. White discoloration on the nail, is that always fungus? Look at this white stuff, especially we see females uh, after the summertime uh, and they pull off the nail polish, they see this white discoloration, white discoloration. Is that nail fungus? It may be, there's a type called superficial white. That just means uh, white discoloration on the top of the nail. If you can scrape it off with like a curette, that's just a little device just to kind of scrape it or you can buff it off. It's probably not, or just it's just something very light that's caused by the nail polish that you use. But if you're concerned, you should get it checked out. Uh, but it's very common, depending on the quality of the nail polish, uh, that is a fungus, a real Thick toenail is typically a fungus. So if you need some help, let us know. We'll, we'll be happy to help you. And then finally, let me show you this. This is cool. This is an iPad. And uh, you're going to see it actually makes a 3D scan. And uh, I have a little picture here uh, that you can see here. When I click play, uh, you're going to be able to see this little video here of this person uh, scanning a, a foot here. So here's the foot, this is the iPad. And what they do is they go out at a certain distance and they can go around in different angles. And it has this little box. And if you have had orthotics from us recently, we use the scanner and it's able to do a 3D scan for an orthotic, but also for like a brace. You can see this right up here and you can go looking at different angles and it's really cool. So from this, it's able to fabricate a new orthotic for you. You can see how it kind of changes colors when you go in there. So kind of a neat thing, uh, a new type of technology that uh, we use here in the office. So I thought you would like to learn about that. Okay. So that is the uh, newsletter here for uh, October uh, 2021. Okay, guys. Thanks.